Hey everybody, let's uh, make some calacas. Okay, so we had already built the altar um, and now we're gonna make some decorations for it. So, um, obviously the calaca is a huge symbol for Day of the Dead. Skulls are everywhere during Day of the Dead, so I've got this one here that we can sort of model ourselves on. And some of my colleagues have made little skulls and stuff earlier that we can sort of show you how hopefully yours will turn out, okay? So, out of the kit that you got, um, you're gonna need uh, some of the clay. You have two packets. Some of the little jewels and stuff that you've got, little craft trims. Your glitter glue. You're gonna need some markers and a pencil, okay? So we'll do that. If you didn't pick up a kit, any white clay will work. We just got this um, because that's what we've got. And you can even do another color of clay if you feel like it. It's your skull, do your thing. Um, on the instruction sheet, you'll see that the instructions for the calaca are on the back, so we'll follow those, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is open our clay packets. Should've done this before, huh? We've got one piece of clay there. I'll put that to the side. Another lump of clay. And so we gave you two packets so that you could choose whether you want to make a big skull, a big galaka, or two smaller galakas, or maybe even four teeny tiny galakas. I'm going to put these two together to make a big one, just so that it's a little easier to see on camera. This you want to manipulate a little bit in your hands, squeeze it around a little bit so it starts to warm up and soften up. And then once you've got it nice and soft and warm, we're going to start to form the actual skull, okay? The reason that skulls are such a big part of Dia de los Muertos is because originally the goddess of death presided over all of the festivities. Dia de los Muertos has been celebrated for over 3,000 years. And so in the time of the Mexica, the Aztecs, their goddess of death, Mixteca Siwat, was actually the one that presided over the festivities. And since she was the goddess of death and her image was a skull, now we have calacas and skulls all over the place for Day of the Dead. So I've got this nice and soft and warm, and now you're gonna use your hands to roll it into a ball. It doesn't have to be the most perfect ball in the whole world, as long as it's a nice ball. Got a ball. The next thing you wanna do is shape a little mouth on your calaca. So I'm gonna use my two fingers and I'm gonna pull down a little tiny bit, as you can see, to start shaping what's going to be my mouth. This could take some doing. You may have to try a few times. You know, maybe the first time you do it, you have to roll it back into a ball because it takes a little, a few tries. But it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, really, it's it's your skull. You can even, if you want, use the edge of the table to help mold it a little bit. Sometimes I do that. If you want a nice sharp edge, I feel like. For what I've got going on today, this is a pretty good calaca shape. So as you can see now, it actually looks kind of like a little bit of a dog, but either way. Now you've got the skull shape on the top and the shape at the bottom where the mouth is going to be and the nose, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to form the eyes. So in the instructions, it says to take the tip of a pencil and poke holes where you believe the eyes are gonna be. You may have to rotate the pencil like this a tiny bit to make the holes of the eyes a little bit bigger because obviously just a little in, uh, the eraser end isn't gonna be big enough to where you actually have eyes. But as you can see, with a little bit of manipulation and a little bit of rotation, you actually end up with some pretty good eye holes in this galaka. So now we have the skull part, the mouth part, the two eyes. And what you can do is actually take that tip of the pencil too and form a little nose in the middle of your calaca. If you need a little bit of a sharper point, you can take the tip of the pencil to try to shape that a little bit into more of a triangle. And then just use the other, the eraser end to sort of smooth it out. So now we have a little triangle in the middle there for the nose, some eyes, and then you can take the very tip of the pencil and if you want, trace some lines across here to form some teeth because every school has teeth, right? So I just did two lines across, some lines down, and then another line in the middle there to form some teeth. Take your time with this too. The clay is gonna be pliable for a long time, so you know if, if you're not happy with how it turned out, smooth it out, 
ball it up again and then start over. It's not a big deal. But now you can see that we've got our two eyes, the nose, the teeth. And now we're going to decorate this, okay? While the clay is still wet is when you really want to press in the jewels, if you want to use jewels or sequins. Um, and then we're going to let it dry, and then after that we'll use markers and the glitter glue to decorate it, okay? So I'm going to take these bl two blue jewels, because they're both round, and I'm going to put them over the eyes and press them in a tiny little bit so that the clay catches them. Press them in a tiny little bit so that the clay catches them. Try not to ruin the, the work you've done with the nose, but as you can see now I've got these two cool jewel eyes. I'm going to take this other red jewel, it's a square, and I'm going to put it at the very top of the calaca to give it a little bit of something on its forehead. And now, we're pretty much there. Normally I would let this dry for 24 hours before I tried to decorate it with markers or with glitter glue, but because we're shooting a little video today, it's not a big deal. Next up, I'm going to take a marker, and I think I'm going to draw some little designs. I want a little bit of a, you know, thing here along the, the sort of cheekbone of my calaca. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, I've just got a little bit of a line there. Maybe I will take my green marker, because I don't have any green on here yet, and draw a little bit of something around the nose, maybe some dots, you know? This is really where you get to be as creative as you want. So I've got some dots around my nose. Maybe you want to take um, a marker and actually do the lines for your teeth. So now that we've got them in there, we can actually take a marker and really make them jump out. You know, and this part you want to be kind of careful because once you make the marker marks, there's not really any taking them back. But you know, I've got little teeth now in there. Maybe my calaca could have gone to the dentist a few more times in his life. Who knows? But now you've got this. And then now, to add a little bit of glitz, I'm going to take my glitter glue, and maybe I'm going to put a little bit of glue, I don't know, maybe I'm going to put it on one tooth, you know? Maybe you got a little grill. And maybe I'll do some little tracing here around the top jewel to finish them off. So I've got a little calaca there. You're going to let that dry for 24 hours, and then it's going to be ready to place on your altar. Okay?